Hi everybody, welcome back to another one of my DAISY console beginner's guide to server modding. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can make the CFG spawnable types.xml um, validate. Because uh, one of the problems with the CFG spawnable types.xml is that it is an incredibly useful file. So you're going to be doing lots of editing to it. It's very easy to make mistakes. Um, and right out of the box, the vanilla version will not validate. So let, let me show you that. So if we go to um, uh, xmlvalidation.com and then we choose a, a vanilla file so this will be um, a completely vanilla so this is straight from Bohemian Interactive so if we validate this you'll see we get errors and it will say this isn't allowed and it's to do with the way that for some reason in the CFG spawnable types and some other files that um, Daisy use they they don't use the um, remarks uh, syntax correctly. So as you can see, it's down at start of zombies. So what you want to do is if you go to your server and then go into the web interface, then go into the file browser, then go into your missions folder, PS missions or XB missions. I mean this works for PC as well. You know the normal missions folder. And then go into the Chernerus bit if it's a Chernerus server. Go into the Enoch bit if it's a Livonia server. And then in this directory, you're looking for CFG spawnable types. There it is, CFG spawnable types. And you want to download that. And then you want to copy it over to your folder that you're editing. Leave the version in the downloads file as a in the downloads folder as a backup. And then you want to open it in the CFG spawnable types. So we know from the error that we got that it starts at start of zombies. So if I copy that, so if I copy that and then I go back to uh, Notepad++ and do a control F to find and paste start of zombies. So there we go. So the problem <laughs> is that what for some reason Bohemia Active do is instead of having their remarks look like that, See just to the left of start of zombies where it's dash dash exclamation mark left angle bracket. Then at the end it's dash dash um, right angle bracket. They have all these extra bits in, all these lines which the XML validator doesn't like. Now it doesn't affect the running of the game. And in fact, if you look here, Notepad plus plus doesn't have a problem with it. Um, it's all in the right colours and stuff like that. But the chances of you making a mistake when you edit CFG spawnable types is very, very, very high. So it's very, very important that we change this so that it will validate so you can spot those mistakes. So what we can do, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. If you just copy that, uh, sorry, copy um, that there. So all of the lines through to the um, opening uh, angle bracket. If we copy that, and then we do control F to find and replace. So you click on replace. And then if we say find that. And then you paste it in below as well. But then delete all of these. So we're saying find all these ones with all these lines in. And just replace them with those. And if we say replace all. Dunk it does it. So all 12 occurrences were, were replaced. So that's done the left hand side. So now if we do the right hand side, so if we copy all of that like that, so we copy that, do control F, do for replace, and we paste that in there, and we paste that in there, then we get rid of all of that, replace all. What should happen now is alright, it's got most of them. What we can see here is that the army one is slightly different. So let's scroll down. So let's uh, let's copy that. Let's click up here. Control F. Find a replace. So find that. Replace it. That replace all. This is eleven. Oh, there might be a few more. So let's keep scrolling now. Let's look for them to make sure we've got them all. Scroll, 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 scroll. Now, unfortunately, I can't just make this file available for you because every time there's an update to DayZ, I mean, we're currently on 1.15, but 1.16 will be coming out soon. There could well be changes to CFG spawnable types. Um, and so this is something you're probably going to have to do every time that there's an update. 
um, and you want to edit your CFG spawnable types and then you want to validate them afterwards. Let's go a bit faster. Okay, I think we're good to go. So let's save that. And now let's go back to the XML validator, which is there. So let's just uh, let's click on XML validator. So we go back to the home screen. Choose file to upload it. Choose the file again. Open, validate. No errors were found. So what this means now is, let's say I was editing on this file say on the SK, uh, let's go with the Scout. Let's say I was editing the chance of it getting a round in, uh, a magazine in. So let's say I meant to change this from 0.75, so a 75% change of having a, a, a magazine in to 100%. So I did one one, but I'd missed off, I'd managed to delete the um, quotation mark. And I saved that. Now I've got, um, Notepad plus plus set up to, to tell me errors, but let, let's say you didn't have that turned on. So we'd say OK. So we've saved that. Let's go back to XML validator. Let's choose the file. Let's open it up. Let's validate. There's the error. So let's click on that there. And there's the error. So it's picked it up. Um, so you can see how important it is to fix your CFG spawnable types or any other file that for some reason, um, let's put that information back in, uh, quotation mark back in, or, or any other file that has this remarks error that you come across. Now once you've done that, what you then want to go is you want to go back to your server, you'd want to hit upload, you'd want to go to the file and you would upload that and then you would restart your server. Um, and you know, there, there will be no changes in this particular case because we haven't done any editing. Um, but when you do do editing, obviously that would then uh, come into effect. So there we go. That is how you fix the CFG spawnable types the XML so that it will validate on an XML validator. Right. I hope you found that useful. If you have hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.